Hi, my friends. In today's Little Bites, we're going to be talking about cleansing the energy of your home. Yes, this is very important because just like the energies that we may pick up just by walking around and being in the world, our home holds traces of energy of everything that goes on in there. So let's start with the basics, okay? You need to actually clean your house. Yeah, I know, I know. And I know some of you out there love to clean. Good for you. That ain't me. No, I have to make myself clean. But that's another story for another day. Um, the fact is that you should live in a clean and organized space. Well, it's more comfortable uh, to live in, but also because the energies and entities hide in little spaces, especially those that you don't move around a lot. Yep, they do. So as much as you can move your furniture to clean around and under it, try to move at least once a year or twice a year, things like the china cabinet, the entertainment center, things that are too heavy and hold, you know, fragile stuff that we don't think to move around. Uh, don't forget your closet, your pantry, the hallway linen closet, and that front closet where people keep their coats and their vacuum. You know, try at least at the minimum once a year to get everything out, give it a good cleaning, and then put stuff back in. So yeah. then you can smudge a little bit. <laughs> yes, that'll be good too. Okay. Whew. I feel tired of all that cleaning already. All right. So some smudging rituals. People always think about smudging when they think about cleaning your energy because it works, right? So if the smell don't offend you or your family members, like some of my kids, uh, smudge away. Be mindful of close practices. So unless you are Native American, don't use white sage, just the white. Other sages, are safe to use. Um, I like to use dragon's blood. Um, I love the way that smells. Or any kind of bundle like this that has rosemary or lavender. Well, those are those smells that I like, but there's all kinds of bundles. You can really choose whatever um, you like as long as it doesn't uh, has white sage unless you're native american then you can buy whatever you want okay now if you're gonna use palo santo um palo santo brings in a uh, positive energy this kind of bundles push out negative energy so if you're gonna use palo santo you need to use the bundle first okay so you you know um chase away the negative and bring in the positive um just like smudging um using incense work just as well um or you can use a simmering pot i love me a good simmering pot so you get a good big pot like a deep soup pot right and you fill it up with tap water uh and throw in some dried herbs um like you can you can throw in like uh dry dry orange slices uh some cinnamon sticks some rosemary and some lavender and let it simmer let it simmer your house will smell wonderful and the energy will be cleaned and clear Remember to open the windows, either using the, the simmering spot or incense or smudging to open the windows so the negative energy can escape out, right? And some of the water from that simmering pot 
uh, serum pot, you can put it in your mop water for an extra oomph, right? To your mop water, you can also add um, either or, I mean, you can put all of them, but either or, you can put um, some Florida water or some moon water, okay? Now, do you wanna uh, DIY energy spray, cleaning spray? I got you, okay? So you get a spray bottle and I get got this one from Dollar Tree. So it was 125 for two or three, two. I can't remember, two or three. Um, and clean it. And I clean it by, I, I turn on an incense and I stick it in there and I kind of swirl around. Uh, you don't want the incense to touch the plastic, right? This is plastic. Uh, but just the smoke to stay in there and that will clean it up, clean whatever kind of energy uh, will be in there. So you can, to, to the clean spray bottle, you can add some dry rosemary for cleansing. And remember when you're using um, herbs for anything, and this is like a spell, right? You need to tell them what you want them to do because they're used for many things. So rosemary for cleansing, dry basil for prosperity, dry mint for, uh, for release and renewal, pieces of the cinnamon stick uh, or ground cinnamon for prosperity and abundance, some cloves to repel negativity, rose hip for protection and to bring in love into the space, any flower oil, uh, for protection and shielding and any kind of salt for protection and purification. Then I like to add some tourmaline, black tourmaline or black obsidian chips. Uh, those little, little teeny tiny crystals, you put them inside. Uh, and then you um, fill it up like halfway with witch hazel uh, for banishing and healing and the rest of the way with moon water or Florida water or both for good energy. Okay. Now I put everything in the bottle and let it sit. This is not that spray. That spray is going to give you like a brownish color. This is another spray. I'm most just showing you the bottle. Uh, I let all that sit in the water for like three days, in the bottle for like three days, and then I strain it because the herbs are going to clog your spray, okay? Or you can use essential oils. You can do that too, okay? Instead of, instead of the herbs. And there you have it, a powerful protection spray. You can use that in your house, you can use it in your car, you can spray it on yourself, on your kids, on your pets, you name it. You can use it anywhere. Uh, I used to um, bring it to the office and spray around. <laughs> and after your guests leave your house, you spray just for good measure, right? Because you never know. <laughs> Now, there's some uh, intentional protection practices that you can also use. For example, the first of the month, I like to stand in front of my front door facing the inside of the house, and then I put some salt and some cinnamon, and I blow it in for uh, protection and abundance, okay? The salt for protection, the cinnamon for abundance, for the flow of, abundan of abundance. And you need to say what they are for and your intentions for doing it. And then you can leave it on the floor for 24 hours and then sweep it up. Um, if you have uh, pets that are very sensitive, um, I mean, I've never had a problem really because I blow it. So it's not that it chunks of salt and the salt is not the problem, it's the cinnamon. Uh, it's not the chunks of cinnamon falls on the floor. Uh, I mean, I never am able to see it. 
Uh, but if you have very sensitive pets, you can use the spray instead. Um, and so you let it sit on your floor for 24 hours and then you sweep it up. In my case, the Roomba will sweep it up. All right. The other thing that I like to do is I put a line of salt. I grab the, you know, the container of salt from the supermarket and I go all around the perimeter of my house and draw like a line of salt. Now, if you have a lot of grass, that might, you know, the, the, the salt will kill the grass. So you want it like really close where you should have edged it. So, you know, or just a line in front of your front door, right? Um, and any people with um, not great intentions will stay out, all right? I love to also use selenite sticks. I put this on top, on the inside of the house, on top, you know, on that little ledge from the molding um, on top of the door. I just, that leaves there. And this is from, this lives in front of my office door. Since I do so much work here, I love being well protected. So, you know, if this is because I do this, that I, I use it here. So if you have a, a, a room in your house with an altar, you do spells and you do things like that, put that in. But if you don't, um, you know, just in front of your door will be sufficient. Maybe on your back door, if, if people come in and out uh, from there, okay? Um, so if anybody comes around with not great intentions, you will see that they start getting kind of itchy and uncomfortable and they will want to leave very fast. And now you know, you know, their intentions, their true intentions. And there you go, easy peasy, you know? I hope you like this video and I will post the recipe in for the spray in the comments uh, for you to have. And I hope you have a good rest of your day and a wonderful, wonderful weekend.